morning everyone. How did your weekend go? Mine went pretty well. Uh, pretty well. If you happen to catch the live stream on highfiving.com, that furry creature over there that you see, that you see kind of the ass end of, decided that he had to play so hard that he took my computer, the webcam, all to the floor in the middle of my live stream. I had to cut the live stream, get all these cords untangled, because he also took the headphones out of my ears by force. That hurt. <laughs> it, went, it went a little Blair Witch on us, let's just put it that way. But uh, we did finish it. I did maybe about like, I don't know, two, two and a half hours maybe. And uh, had a great time. Hung out with some cool people. I hope you were one of them. If not, catch the next one. Saturdays at 8. I'm thinking about doing it doing it as like a regular thing. Uh, had fun. Anyway, um, if you'll notice the high five and mug is still here because the speakermindhere.com mug did not find its way to me. Unfortunately, it's due to an address snafu. So I imagine I'm just going to have to reorder the thing. I might order a uh, t-shirt or a ball cap too, because uh, they're pretty cool. I still I still need to order a high five and a pilt t-shirt. Not that you can see them here on here on this uh, this bit yet, but anyway, I can tell you this much: uh, we're in for a heck of a time. I'm not gonna lie. I think uh, in the coming weeks and months we are going to look at some chaos and some turmoil and I am also looking to get into astrology myself just to if for nothing else to kind of see if I can't bolster these readings a little bit give you a more, give you a much sharper picture um, primarily I am always going to be tarot oracles runes and of course tea because I like it when you come here I like it when you show up I love it when you come here, sit down with me at my coffee table, and or tea table as it were, because I don't drink coffee, and have a cup with me. Let's sit down, let's have a conversation. It's not a one-sided conversation, ladies and gentlemen. You can join in in the comments down below. You can also smash the like button and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you see that all in the end credits. I don't need to, uh, I don't need to really really lean on that too heavily uh, I do I have been meaning to talk about this I don't know if I have I'm pretty sure I did but I want to reiterate that uh, if you would like a private reading we operate under the Gabo principle the Gabo is a rune that looks like a big X and what it means is gift for gift so anything 35 if you go into my Amazon wish list and send me anything $35 and under I will give you two readings there will be one you will be able to ask your question and the second one will be on your birthday to give you an idea of what your year looks like as I get into astrology I will also be including astrological uh, information as well if it's anything over $35 I will offer a few more readings, including the one for your birthday. I will still give you one birthday reading, but I will also give you maybe a couple more, you know, like as you want or need them. PRN, as a pharmacist SIG code would put it, which means as needed. So how about we get how about we get interrupted by Bob? What's the matter? What's wrong? Come here. What's wrong? He's just going to sit there and stare at me from right over there. Come on. Come on over. You can join in. The audience won't mind. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so let's get into this, shall we? Now, who's our guide for today? That is not a guide card. That is definitely not a guide card. We are just going to slip that. I think I pulled from the 
runes. Oh boy. Normally I'm normally I shuffle the uh, I shuffle the the rune cards and put them there in the guide cards next. So who is our guide for today? That way I don't screw this up any further. Uh, no. We got mana. We have a situation on our hands, do we not? Okay, so this is the rune deck. Then why was Othala in there? And here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, you saw you saw that I went through them. We're having some really, really weird times. I don't know that we should roll with that because that's obviously a mistake on my part. So we do have Lord Thor. Thor with his mighty hammer here to bust us out of a rut. And it's no doubt that we are experiencing a rut somewhere. Which one is this? This is the... Okay, let me change places with you real quick. It's Monday, everyone. It is definitely Monday. And boy, are the mistakes just... It's Mistake Monday, ladies and gentlemen, but we don't have to necessarily keep making them, do we? And of course, Lord Thor is here. Lord Thor is here to give us strength to move forward with courage and to get ourselves out of this rut we're in. Coupled by a, an ant spirit, which means it's time to collaborate and work with others. So there we go. That's uh, working with others. It, it does help. Some You cannot always be the lone wolf. Um, just speaking for myself, I have been, you know, chatting back and forth with my, with my bro Brian. Uh, Brian has been recommending a couple other YouTube channels, which I had yet to check out, but this time, for some reason, during one of his videos when he made mention of certain things, namely where we're going as a nation in terms of the astrological charts, and let me tell you, the last time that we saw these types of astrological charts was a very dark time in history, and... He recommended uh, a couple other people, and I immediately subscribed to their channels. I've never seen them before. I still have yet to see them. But I figure, why not, why not grab a little wisdom from someone else, maybe see what a, whatever it is. I, I may be missing some things, and that's a very real possibility. In fact, I know I'm missing some things. That's why I wanted to study astrology, and of course, Brian has been an inspiration for me to move on that. I do have a couple of astrology books in my Kindle, and we'll be looking into them. So, for the tarot today, for the tarot today, what do we have? We have... A Ten of Cups, which is looking great. An Eight of Cups. And then we have a Knight of Wands. Hmm. I can see a lot of celebration in our past, uh, in our past year. That celebration, that was, ladies and gentlemen, we are still in the midst of Leo season. We just had a new moon in Leo. And it's caught. It's cause for us to. There's a lot of emotion in here. A lot, of, a lot of emotion. A lot of fire. So, what I'm seeing with this so far is that we have cause to celebrate. I think those of us working our light are winning because if you look around, those of those of us who are looming in the shadows of darkness, attempting to use force and coercion. They're losing their grip. Let me give you an example. During the during the era where Christianity was spreading, uh, the way it worked was, you know, we have this religion from the from the Middle East, and here's what it here's what it has. Here's how it can benefit you. 
and that was the presentation phase of it. The next phase was, you know what, if you, if you um, convert to our religion, you will be a much better person than it was, well, you know, your nation is this religion, our nation follows this religion. If you convert to this religion, then you may do business with us. If not, we will not do business with you. So there's the bribery sort of phase. There was the presentation, the sort of emotional manipulation of you're a good person if. Then there was the bribery phase. Then there was the, well, if you are not able to convert your people, we will do it for you. Then it goes into coercion. Then it's those of you who won't convert are heretics and you will be killed. Do you see the same kind of pattern, not necessarily with a religion, but with an, sort of an ideology? Do you see where that's developing today? I am. I can tell you exactly where it is. Look at all those people with the vaccine movement. Man, they are just really going after it. And the Knight of Wands, of course. There's that uh, Aries energy, that fire, the competition, the, you know, need for action. And, you know, I don't know if this is really creativity, but it could be on our part. In fact, I, I would dare say I think it is on our part. But there's that confidence from us. And since this more relates to us, I can tell you that we have had cause to celebrate. But we also have some um, we have our you know, the means of keeping our family together, which is what that that Ten of Cups really symbolizes. It symbolizes, you know, that uh, family cohesiveness, or a cohesive family unit. But with the Eight of Cups in our present position, it's requiring us to go into a little bit of meditation or a little self-reflection. We may even be seeing some stagnation. And with Thor around, I think when he's here to bust us out of a rut, we are definitely seeing some stagnation. Um, but with that Knight of Wands, we do have that, we will have that energy, that daring, and that confidence. And that's important because now is the time, now is the time, people, to stand up for whatever, whatever it is you believe in, whatever it's worth. If you see it under threat, well, let me just quote the Habamal, Habamal 127, and I'm only partially quoting it. When you see evil, call it evil and give your enemies no peace. It's very important that we stand up. We may have, in fact, I'm going to say this, we definitely have to come to terms with the fact that no one's coming to save us. We're going to have to do it ourselves. We're going to have to do it in mass. As a matter of fact, this Wednesday, I just found out, there is a mass walkout planned a mass walkout, a mass work stoppage on Wednesday. You just walk out. Is that something that you feel that you need to do? Well, let me tell you something. Yes, you can be fired. Might be a, might be a, you know, I don't know. That's a tactic I, I'm not going to say don't do it. I'm saying be ready to face some very real consequences of that. On the other hand, I'm not saying not to do it because standing up for our rights is needed and you need that confidence to be able to say I can do this. Now, we'll see how we can work our light a little bit. How can we spread our influence a bit? So we do have play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Leo season is definitely showing us that. 
why so serious. Here we go. In our present position, the Great Gathering, it's all coming together. Guess what? You're not alone. Your soul tribe is looking for you, and you can find them. When you find them, make sure they're actually your soul tribe, not just ones that look like it. As a matter of fact, you can pray for it. You can pray for it. That, that prayer will be answered. And whatever that looks like to you, do it. And then finally, we have soul family. Here it is again. Soul tribe, you don't have to do it alone. Both of those cards pointing at the ant spirit for collaboration. Both of the, all of these cards pointing to Thor. This is how you break out of this rut that you're in. And it, in my opinion, it's very good advice. You know, learn to be a little playful. So let's see what else we got. What secrets from the runes do we have? We have Elhaz, which is the Elkhorn. We are protected. We have Ansus, which means we need clear communication. And we have Yera, which means we will be, we will reach a turning point. And we will have final reward. So today may be a day to try to clearly communicate your ideas to people. I can communicate one in particular. I found out yesterday that because it's me, I, actually it wasn't directed at me, but um, I could tell you where the source, what the source actually uh, means. I've heard, and I don't know who buys into this baffling load of bullshit, that Terra was closed. My god, I did not know that. Gods of Asgard. Who knew? Well, I've been hearing this a lot lately. I can tell you how this kind of thing originated. Uh, it seems that Stephen McNallan, when he formed the Osatru Folk Assembly here in America, made the claims that unless you had a genetic link to the lands of Norway, Finland, uh, Norway, Finland, Sweden, and Denmark, and possibly Iceland and Greenland, that you had no business practicing heathenism as I do. Well, I don't recall asking Stephen McNallan's permission. I don't recall seeking his approval or consent. And the argument seems to be that tarot is, re is reserved for Romani people meaning that the Romani are only good at fortune-telling and they're, they're the only human beings on the planet that are good at that. Well, much like McNallan, and here's where it's going to disappoint those of you who say that tarot is closed. I did not ask for your consent, your permission, nor your approval. How else may I piss you off today? Also, I, I did write an article, which I will link in the description below, uh, detailing my thoughts on this subject, and yes, it kind of goes all over the place a little bit, but I can sum up this way in terms of my thoughts on the subject. It's very simple. These are ridiculous, petulant, petty, and stupid demands. They will never be able to be enforced, nor will you be able to get me to fall in line. I hope I've made myself clear. And if you're one of these people who believe this and you feel a certain kind of way about it, that's fine. Feel, the, feel that way about it all you want. That does not stop this channel, nor will it stop me. You have no means of enforcing it. Even if you give me the platform from this channel, there's BitChute, there's Odyssey, there's Band Video, Band Video as well. Maybe I'll even do a Rumble channel. But they could take that no profanity stuff and stick it up their ass. Okay, time to get down to 
the summary on this thing. I think I've gone. I think I've gone a little long-winded here. A little long in the tooth. Didn't want to do that. Sorry. Um, I will make one apology. I apologize to those who are watching this that found that tarot is closed argument as stupid as I did. I am sorry for wasting your time. It was certainly not my intention. To those who think I should apologize for doing tarot, uh, go buy a lottery ticket. Uh, go buy two or three, because your chances of winning are far greater. Anyway, so with Thor here to bust us out of this rut, we've been shown the way very clearly. We have our ants, which work together. Right now, we are looking at all that we have ever worked for. We are looking at it, we're meditating upon it, and we're kind of wondering what's going on. We're uh, feeling a little stagnant right now. We're in a rut. We're a little stuck. So we will be moving forward with that confidence and that action, and that is what is needed. <clears throat> we needed something to light a fire under our asses, and here's how we're going to do it. Be sure not to take life too seriously. Call your soul tribe in. You will find the family of your soul coming together. Work with them. Harmonize with them in terms of soul. Don't worry about spiritual matters because right now you are protected. But you need to have very clear communication and you will be reaping the rewards of it. Maybe not now, but soon. I hope this resonated with you. I hope that you have a great time watching this. I really do. I love you all. Work your light, people. Find your soul tribe. Get together with them. Pull them from some of the most unlikely sources. And as always, shine on. to that song Lucas with the lid off. I've had that song in my head all morning and I don't know why. I'm not about to whistle or hum it. I don't want to get a copyright strike. <laughs> Tarot is closed. Well, I see you've made your decision now. Let's see you enforce it. I don't think you're going to have a good time with that one, pal. All right. Ants. Ants. Do you want ants? Because this is how you get ants. <laughs> uh, you thought I was going to speed this one up, didn't you? No, not going to happen. I just decided to do this for like a little post-credit thing. Just for fun. I don't know. You can stick around and watch if you want. Uh, there we go. In you go. Yep, brighter weight today. <laughs> uh, I have a little too much fun, can you tell? Can you? I, th I think you can. I think I only use my notes once on this one. That was pretty cool. It's kind of cool when the messages just come to you. When they're all very cohesive like this, I think it's a great thing. Very easy reading today. Why, well, yes, those are sirens. You know why? Because it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and I think I'm going to stop right there before I get myself a copyright strike. Really don't want that. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor?
<laughs> I'm having way too much fun. Uh, it, I said I wasn't going to do that. Ah, uh, Some of you are killing me with this. Stop sending me mental songs. <laughs> Sunstone. I need some representative of Suna, which her name isn't Saul, I found. It's Suna. Well, whatever. So it's all sun anyway. And a few pieces of black tourmaline for the ring ropes. By the way, something I've never noticed before. That looks like a Wunyo rune. And this sort of looks like a Nalthiza rune on my piece of black tourmaline and I use this one pretty much uh, pardon the term religiously so move my T over here and then move this back to the oh. uh, I seem to have knocked that off killed her a little bit there we go there we are we're done, ladies and gentlemen. Now, get out there and own it. <laughs>